another dubious award, I asked you what the greatest storyline fumble of the year was. As you would probably expect, uh, CM Punk versus John Cena, the super hot angle that got people really excited in, in, uh, in WWE and and you know the WWE Championship and and everything like that suddenly became a very poorly uh, poorly imagined CM Punk versus uh, Triple H, which somehow became an angle nobody wanted to see ten years ago of Triple H versus Kevin Nash that received many votes. It did not win though. Uh, the anonymous uh, Raw General, uh, General Manager uh, being dropped completely, that one, and I'm going to agree with you. I also think that the, the greatest storyline fumble was the anonymous Raw GM storyline never getting wrapped up. Now, let me just say, I understand why the storyline was put on hold for several months. Uh, quite simply, John Cena and, and CM Punk had such a real feud. It just felt very real, it felt very passionate, and it felt very authentic. And I think having a laptop chime in and the lights flickering and everything, and having Michael Cole interrupt with his catchphrases, and everything, I think that would have taken away from the storyline a great deal. So I think it was wise that they got away from that. And I didn't even mind so much that they did away with the storyline altogether after that. The, the, the part that drives me crazy is that they had such an incredibly easy out. Such an easy way to wrap up that story. For however long it was, a year, whatever it was, you had this anonymous Raw General Manager communicating with Michael Cole through a laptop, through emails. You then introduce a character, John Laurinaitis, who ultimately, ultimately replaces the laptop and becomes the interim general manager. And what is his shtick? That he loves sending text messages. I mean, wouldn't it have just been so much easier to reveal that John Laurinaitis, the man who likes sending text messages, was the raw GM who was communicating with Michael Cole through email? I mean, it, it wrote itself. They had such an incredible easy out there where they could have just said, when Vince McMahon came out, he could have said, let me now reveal the, who the Raw General Manager was this entire time. Out comes John Laurinaitis. They're in the same spot. Yeah, I mean, it would have been perfect. And the fact that they just didn't take that super easy out, and people were wondering. People, I mean, it was a storyline they had going on for over a year. And uh, I mean, people still bring it up. Why not take that? easy explanation. The fact that they had such an easy explanation readily available but didn't take it is why to me this was the biggest storyline fumble. This is the end, beautiful friend. This is the end, my